Now the Patriots team plane is on its way back from China with a potentially life-saving shipment of equipment for hospital workers. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at Logan Airport for us this evening with more on the layers of cooperation that made this possible. Christina? Lisa, David, at last check, that plane was due here at Logan in about an hour. The Patriots Boeing 767 that, just like all those frontline medical workers, is practicing the Patriots policy, taking no days off. This was a total team effort on every level. Governor Charlie Baker announcing help is on the way. And who better to usher it in? The New England Patriots. I just want to say to Mr. Kraft, I forgive you for not signing Tom Brady. This is much more important to me than N95. Generosity and hard work of the Kraft family and many other partners, Massachusetts will receive nearly 1 million N95 masks for our frontline healthcare workers. Working in an ICU, we are faced with life and death every day. It started with many public pleas from health care workers. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. This one in the form of an Instagram post from Mass General Hospital nurses in need of protective gear. The governor says many phone calls led him to a humanitarian aid deal between the state, the U.S. and Chinese governments, and the Kraft family swooping in with transportation for more than a million masks in all, hundreds of thousands also going to Rhode Island and New York. At Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital, nurses celebrated hearing the news. We have been uh, reusing our N95 for uh, uh, few days or even weeks now. We are upon the surge. We're all very anxious and stressed because um, we all don't want to get sick. If we're sick, who takes care of the patients? There's already a lot of our coworkers who are out. So as soon as the plane lands here, the portion of the masks that will go to healthcare workers in this state will be handed over to the Massachusetts Emergency Management Stockpile. And the governor says as helpful and as great as this all is, the state will still need more masks. At Logan Airport, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.